It has been 582 days with dreadlocks. If you haven't catched my pros and cons video, I've already posted that here. I will link that below. Go ahead and check it out. Um, it's just my honest opinion on what I think about dreadlocks, having dreadlocks for this past year and a half. And I've come to the conclusion that we're going to comb them out. Um, I feel like <clears throat> the stigma is that when you have dreadlocks, you have to shave your head, but that is not true. Uh, you get to either one, shave your head, where it is no longer dreadlocked. So if you want to look up really close, you can see that this part is all new growth here. I have not had dread maintenance since September, so several months, and this is all new growth and this is loose. So I could like stick my finger or like my cone through this essentially, right? And that's all loose. So I just have to either comb all the way up to here or I would shave it here and this would all be like my loose hair, but we're not shaving the head today. Sorry, you can't get that guilty pleasure. I've watched videos on YouTube myself, so I know, I know, I know. Like this guy, this is my little baby. So there's still some extensions in there. Um, this side is my longer side because I had a longer cut before I dreaded my hair. So majority of this side is my my hair. So we're gonna start in the back. I figured I'll take a couple days to go ahead and comb it out. I've watched like tons of videos and advice. Um, my hair is clean and dry. I, I know I didn't have to clean my hair, but it's been actually a week and a half since I've washed my hair. So I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and wash it and then start combing them out. Um, so washed my hair. I actually used the rest of my dreadlock shampoo from Dolly Locks. And I was like, I guess it's time. But you can see my little dreadies. Um, but I'm gonna start in the back and I'll comb them out and then um, time will go on and probably in a couple days we'll be good to go. So stay tuned. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about why I'm doing it with dry hair and how I'm doing it because technically there's like so many ways you can brush them out, so many ways you can do this. Um, personally, I'm doing it with dry hair because I've seen a lot of people talk about um, how wet hair is very porous and very elastic. The elasticity of the wet hair can stretch and break. So I realistically want to keep as much of my real hair as I can once I get all the dreadlocks and the extensions out. I'm gonna need a fresh cut for show. But, um, I wanna try and preserve the length as much as I can. So we're gonna be pretty gentle. That's why I said it's gonna take a while. Um, brushing these out, if I was, you know, in a rush or like super adamant about getting them out right here, right now, I would just be cutting them shorter, you know, cutting them short and then brushing versus like trying to keep them as long as they are. This one's like really, really tight right here. So I've also seen people kind of like pull them apart to loosen them up a bit. So you wanna kind of like see where you can find a little bit of a soft or not so tight spot and try and just work them out. So this is gonna be interesting. Um, I'm gonna try and record as much as I can for the comb out and I'm gonna have to fast forward a lot of it, but this is kind of what it's gonna be, is just me combing away, seeing what we find in here. <laughs> So I realized I didn't do like a good 360 before we started and even though I'm like a quarter of the way of my first dready, I wanted to do a 360 for memories. So this is the front. I have 25 dreadlocks. Then if you want to do the side. Back. This side. And right.
one down 24 to go this is what we call bleaching dreadlocks and the bleach not getting all the way through can you see that look at those dark spots can you see them I can see them one dreadlock you guys all the lint and dust disgusting Day two, I gotta prop you up a little higher. So I'm gonna give you an update. I was successful at getting five out yesterday. I just had a head wrap on, so my hair is atrocious. It's snowing here. We have one completely out here. Another one. So I have three on this side. I put conditioner in it so you can see it's kind of wavy. And then I have two out here. But this one has so much residue that I cannot comb this out. So I'm gonna have to really wash this and work on that guy. But we have five out, 20 to go. Stay tuned. Say hi, Emmy. Hi. Wait. Today is day three. Emmy is home from school. She's been coughing, just lots of congestion. There we go. So I said, you can stay home today, not cough on everybody. Yes. So I'm gonna be working on my hair today. I'm at nine out of 25, you guys. I still have a lot of work to do, but they're coming along, so stay tuned. All right, it's the last day, you guys. I have two left. OMG, OMG, OMG! Now it's time for the big reveal! Ta-da! Oh my god! So I obviously need a haircut. It's been a year and a half, but you guys, look at my curls! I've missed my curls so much. Look at that! Oh my gosh. My hair is dry, my hair is fried, I need a haircut but I'm gonna give you a full 360, you ready? It's not like a complete full 360, but it will work. So I need some choppage back here and on the sides, but I love it! Um, not sure how this video is gonna turn out because it took me so many days to brush them out, but Cheers to my next step in my hair journey of life, and I'm excited. Thanks for watching.